so like i was saying um went out we had some yes and then we decided to take a nice walk down the beach now I, uh sundays here you know lots of people go to the beach it seems to be family day and there's lots of chill lots of football lots of activity so um like i mentioned in my introductory video i am six foot two and <laughs> the hostess is also six foot two now it's very rare that you see two women you might see one of us you know on separate days but you might not see us together and i loved it because <laughs> we were getting so many stares and people didn't know what to make of us and and this lady she just oh, gorgeous gambian woman just carried herself like i was like huh? and i'm gonna follow this sister with my crazy hair okay whatever and then you know i just i just accepted it and then you know went with it you know i knew I, I knew i was looking all sort of funny but you know it was cool i went with it um of course you know she she's she's that kind of tall gambian slim and here i am with my uh european fat attitude um <laughs> anyway um this twist her uh, my hair reverted a little bit but you know i'm just picking the puff to make it like you know i'm just doing my best with it okay you know obviously it'd be nice if i could like gel on the ends i'm telling you things i should have thought about before i left but i kind of hoped that i would get my hair done you know quickly but nobody's open on sunday so i had to walk about sunday looking like this and um you know very soon it would look nice i promise you guys you know i mean i i can i can clean up good i can you know i can improve this don't worry i put i put my earrings on i put my you know i, I, I put some makeup on dress nice you know I'll, I'll, I'll do something with it you know anyway so enough about the hair um it is uh yesterday we went to see this uh oh god i've forgotten his name Jeez, this band was fantastic. I swear, I was up there, you know, I'm a lot of people don't know that I'm, I really love music. And they had, um, like the band was playing like a warm set before the, the real singer came. Um, it was on the beach, a restaurant, like a, a bar restaurant on the beach. And they had this little stage area. Oh my God. Oh my God, and Gambians know how to have fun, girl. Oh. I mean, these guys can party, you know. It was fun, it was fun. And then they made me dance. Now, I'll tell you one thing about me. I'm a good chair dancer, okay? I'm on the chair, my moves look good. That's because from my head to my waist, I dance well. The minute I get up, the rest of me can dance, okay? So I was like... Oh my god, I can't dance. So I did my best going up there and made a big, big fool of myself. I was like, you know what? Have fun. Why not? Everyone's here to have fun. Don't get so serious and, you know. And it was so much fun. I tell you, you know, me, um, uh, my hostess had a friend who came, came to join us. Another beautiful Gambian. It's like all of them are beautiful. All of them are beautiful. I don't, you know, they all gorgeous. Okay. Y'all, y'all gorgeous women. Y'all naturally beautiful women, okay? None of y'all should say anything bad about yourselves. None of you. Because I don't see it, okay? I mean, I come from England where, you know, we, the weather, even if you're working as much as you can and you're working out, the weather itself adds fat to you. So that removes a little bit of your gorgeousness, you know what I mean? Here you're slim, gorgeous, and they walk upright and tall. And oh my god, they're like regal, they're like queens, you know. These women are gorgeous, anyway. And you know, so I think I made a few people laugh because I tried, I, I did a little bit of traditional dancing very badly, I might add, but it was, it was fun, you know. I really enjoyed myself, it was fun. This guy, the guy on the bass guitar, oh my god and then there was a set with the guy on the main guitar and he was playing a rock and he was using that his guitar to to generate like traditional drum sounds i was like what there's some skilled musicians i wish each of the musicians had a, a chance to to like solo before i left and it was so much fun and then there was some there was a guy who was a professional dancer there. oh this guy's good 
Those guys can dance, man. Those guys can dance. And I, I was sitting down there thinking, oh my God, the guy, when they called me up to dance, I thought, worst nightmare, I can't dance. <laughs> but I got up, I did my thing. And I said, you know, this trip, I'm going to, one thing I want to do more of, um, because I'm always, always working on myself, okay? I believe you cannot complain about other people if you're not going to look at yourself. Uh, not that I do or not complain about other people, but what I mean is as you grow older, you tend to realize that you're not as smart as you thought you were. You're not as knowledgeable as you thought you were, and you don't know everything, you know. And every day I spend time, because we're all here temporarily, okay. I'm here temporarily, and as long as I'm here, and as many days as the good Lord gives me, I am going to do everything in my power to self-improve, and that's my thing. I fail sometimes okay it, it happens I fail sometimes but you know this is a year where especially with all that's happened with COVID-19 it really really brought home that how important how you know I spent the whole of 20 the few last years up till March um, up till March 2020 before the, the lockdown doing all sorts of uh, trying all, trying to chase money and all that stuff and then I realized you know there are more important things like i think oh i have some beautiful brazilian wigs at home i have not worn one because i've been working from home we've been on lockdown in the uk we hardly went out this is when i learned to appreciate my natural hair because this is how well i stay in my own house like this you know um i occasionally just dress up for the fun of it because well, i got a husband and you know i want him to remember you know this girl used to <laughs> she used to look good too don't 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 be thinking your wife let go. No, 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 no. Is this COVID stuff making me, you know? It also made me appreciate my skin. Okay. I mean, my skin is not the best because, it, but believe me, the skin has been worse in the past because I was wearing makeup every day. I was not really taking care of it. And it, I did a lot more. And in that point, I actually launched a natural skincare business, which is uh, tell, check out Tall, Tall Chic Naturals on Instagram. I actually launched a natural skincare business, which was um, fantastic. And I'm, I'm still amazed at the amount of, um, amount of, um, you know, interest that, that has generated up in the UK. It's really, really, you know, surprising me with how quickly that came together. Um, I'm just, uh, I'm just very, I'm just very grateful, you know, I'm very grateful for life. I'm very grateful for this trip. I came to this trip because I was determined that by the time I leave, I would have learned how to relax more. I would have learned how to um, let go and have fun. And these people seem to do a good job of it. And I think being here was a bright, bright thing for me. Um, they may not realize it, but you know, sometimes you don't realize things yourself, but those of us coming from the outside, we know what we see. And trust me, I have lived in the UK 30 years. I will tell you, I will tell you, Many of us will swap the comfort and convenience of the UK for living in the relative, again, I say relative, discomfort. Discomfort, you see, all this discomfort anywhere in the world, for people like us who want to come here, okay, we can because you would plan your money and you would plan how you're going to do it. And if you have your money, you would enjoy Jambia. And you have, that's called it Jambia because somebody from Jamaica calls it Jambia. She loves it here. Uh, you would have a good time here and you know you come here you respect people treat people nice um you'll love it and people are they're nice they'll talk to you they'll be friendly to you i think i amuse them somewhat just because you know like i said i'm awkward okay so if you see me doing some strange things it's because i'm awkward I, I i do things like that but i have a laugh it's i, I like to have a laugh I realize it's awkward, so I laugh at it. You know what I mean? I can't, you know, you can't be mm, all the time. You can't. So, you know, I'm not perfect. I'm not claiming to be perfect. I have never been perfect. I have had crazy moments. I have had all sorts of moments. But this year has been so different for me, I tell you. It's been very, um, I've grown. Not, not like, you know, a teenager. Obviously, I'm not the spring chicken. You can see I've got gray hairs and stuff. I'm just saying that, you know, I've grown in terms of looking inside myself and improving stuff. And it's been really good for me. And I've, I've gained so much, you know, from that. 
And I believe that's what God wants to do with all of us because he loves us so much. He just wants all of us to self-improve. And, you know, you can make... How you think about things is what makes it because a few years ago, certain things would have frustrated me or, you know, I, I was such a perfectionist that if things weren't going perfect, I can't. I couldn't. If things weren't going perfect, I couldn't. But these days, oh, things are absolutely uh, it's as if I was looking at life in, in black and white and now I'm looking at life in color television it is those some of you are not, uh, are not, are not television used to be black and white okay a long time ago and I'm I when I was a kid was the last few years of black and white I was probably like you know five six years old before they, they changed to color television so some of us are, have been around a, a little while and um you know I, I just love the space i love the space and you know i don't know you may not see it but those of us living from the outside trust me when you've lived in certain places for a long time you learn to appreciate the things that you have now i i also understand because i'm nigerian origin i know there's hardship in africa okay i'm not gonna sit here and color coat the situation there is hardship in africa okay we are talented people with too many too many issues i can't even start and i don't want to get into politics or anything but if you're of african origin you know what i'm talking about it is life is tough yeah. but for those of us who say we want to come back to gambia we can afford to do so and we you know we, we if you have if you have your money and you can't you have established um something you can do here to sustain your money if you're either a business or you got, you're lucky enough to get yourself one of those UN jobs then yes the Gambia will be a lovely country for you the problem with Africa is that no one's taking care of anyone who doesn't have anything and I have to give it to us we are resilient people all over the world where you find Africans is Africa sustaining the world do we actually realize that we are the ones sustaining the world our resources sustain the entire world Every resource that the world is using, gold, uranium, everything, comes from Africa. On top of that, Africans are the ones doing most of the work. If you go to Europe, when I say doing most of the work, okay, if you go to Europe, you, your cleaners, your, you know, most of them would be, would be African or from a third world country. But even in offices like myself, like I'm, I'm an IT consultant, you will be very surprised that you know I, I i it's just an observation and i know people are going to come for me for this because not everyone is going to agree with this but that's why that's why it's life you know we don't all have to agree with each other but if you're going to disagree could you please do that politely because i i don't take kindly to negative comments um it was up so you know it's absolutely when you think about everything that's been invented in the last hundred or two hundred years do you know that majority of scientific inventions were by black people and and by extension africans because every black person got, got african dna in fact every human being in the world has african dna but if you're black you're obviously closer in in, in relationship to africa but when you think about this the the most recent one in 2020 as we're speaking this covid vaccine both companies who have put out the COVID vaccine have a Nigerian on the board. I bet you that Nigerian was the brains of the whole operation. No one's going to speak about that person. They're going to say, oh yes, Pfizer does this, this, this. But no one's going to tell you that the person who was doing all the hard work, thinking, the calculation, everything, was a Nigerian. Now he's done the work, but everybody else is sustaining from it because we're all going to at some point get this vaccine and we're all going to. And this has been this, the truth for a very long time. Do we as Africans actually know we are we're actually more powerful than we think and most of us should think about that because we do the work open heart surgery african traffic light african fire extinguisher african so think about it there's so many so many so we're not you, you know we we are portrayed we're not appreciated enough for what we do you know, both in our own countries and outside, we do so much. Because take away all these people, what do we have in, in, on earth? Take away African resources, what do we have on earth? Nothing. 
Nothing. It might come as a shock to some people, or probably, and probably some people would disagree with everything. But the truth is, if you take away the African layer, you have very little people, very little resources, very little people, and very little, you know, very little going on. But yet, when you say the word Africa, everyone thinks it's inferior. It's, you know, and it's just, it's just, it just amazes me. But I don't mind other people think it's inferior. But we should never, ever think we're inferior because we're not. We're not. And, you know, anyway, I divert, diverted a little bit into the, you know, Pan-African talk and all that stuff. But I'm just, you know, I, it just hit me that, you know, this is the truth about the world today as we live in. Now, most of the work being done in the world is being done by Africans. We're sustaining the world, and we don't even realize that we're that powerful. Well, I'll leave you guys to think about that. Anyway, I'm going to put uh, a couple of... I just want to show you a couple of clips from the video, uh, uh, videos I took. I hope no one videoed me dancing. I'm sure I'm going to end up on the internet somewhere when I bad dancing. Lord, Lord have mercy. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> but whatever, you know, I'm okay. I can laugh at myself, okay? It's cool. Um, but, you know, it was so much fun. Um, we ended up having some finger food and, and two bottles of wine. And we were good, we were good. And my hostess oh, and her friend. Her friend actually wanted to go to a lounge afterwards, but she was tired. So I said, okay, you know what? Let's just go. Let's just go home. Um, so... Today, we'll, we'll see what, what today brings, but let me just show you uh, one or two short clips from the video and then I'll come back. Hey, why? It's for me. Man, you go sali. Sali, you want your love, girl. 